Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of FTB University, where today we're getting some void ore mining and ore processing going. All right, so before we start making our void ore miners, we need a bunch of black concrete. Now you can use the black concrete powder, but it's you end up using way more of it. Um, I had the recipes made. So we're all set up to auto craft, at least this part. Um, I think it's the interconnects. We look at uh, interconnect. Uh, you can either use one black concrete or you can use a modifier component. But the modifier component requires four black concrete powder and a block of iron. Now, ah, okay. I don't actually know what the speed modifier is used for. Okay. Because you have like speed modifiers that are part of something else. So that's interesting. But not what we're doing, not what we're doing. We need a bunch of black concrete. Now, there's a couple of ways you could make this into concrete. You can use a fluid infuser from Nuclear Craft. Um, and that sort of just requires some alloys, which I mean, I could make, I've got the stuff here. Uh, and then we're just gonna sit there and wait for it to happen. Ah, or we can use the building gadget. So, the sneaky way to make a lot of concrete really fast with the building gadget is to come over to some water and this area will do grab our black concrete uh, shift right click to set the thing and I can break this guy and this gadget has an undo function and as we place that all that just became concrete uh, once I figure out what my control is for undo Build the gadget, control Z. Uh, we'll just go with U. And you'll see we got black concrete back in our inventory. So this is a little bit uh, a little bit of a you know questionable way to get concrete, but it works really well. And alright, Mr. Creeper. And you get a few undos. And there's a well, there's rat dudes around here. But yeah, this is how you can get a bunch of concrete uh, reasonably fast. And we could change the mode. Should have set my controls up first. Building gadgets, change mode. Might be the settings menu. I set it to semicolon. There we go. And I'll just put it surface, uh, horizontal wall. And put the range up. And this gives you like a bigger area. And the problem with that is, uh, like this middle stuff, wouldn't have gotten done. But there, we just converted all of our concrete into black concrete. Cool, so I think I've got the resources to at least make uh, the Void or Miner controller. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see how slow this guy goes, since we're only using one molecular assembler. It's like, to be fair, like, it's not that bad. That's pretty good. Now, actually, there might be quests for our environmental tech, and I might just do them in case we get some uh, like handy rewards. Yeah, so there's a couple of things. Looks like no rewards, no rewards. Uh, that's okay. Let's make this anyway. So digital guide. Might even have one of these crystals left over. We don't. Uh, we can just make one of them. Next we need this assembler. Now the assembly you actually definitely do want. But we can have a look in this digital guide at other stuff we can make. Um, void ore miners give you ores, obviously. Void botanic miners give you like different saplings and plants. Can be kind of handy depending on the pack you're in. Uh, solar arrays are pretty good power generation. Uh, resource miners get you like blocks. So like uh, clay or dirt or red sand and also a couple of things we need for upgrades. But there's a couple of crystals we need to get. 
And it was mentioned in the comments that it, it does take a while. And that's like these crystals. So we're going to be making a tier one Void Ore Miner. And you have to make these crystals, but it occasionally gets these crystals. These are used for making tier two. Tier two gets these ones, which make tier three and so on. Uh, and it can be quite a time consuming process. So I may end up making a couple of these, but we're probably a little bit short on resources, to be fair. Like if we try to craft another one, I mean, we're just missing a block of diamond, but that's just because I haven't taught it the recipe. But all right, we can find out what we need. If we put that up there, we place this down. And this is going to be a big multi block if you haven't seen it before. Um, I don't know, if I click breaks it, is it clicking on it? Clicking on it, there we go. So we need 24 structure frames, 20 structure panels, laser core and a couple of laser lenses. So what I think I'll do, does it stay in our, yeah. So structure frames tier one. Let's find that. Structure frame tier one. So we're going to make a pattern for these guys. Oops. Uh, we also needed, I don't think the panels have tier, structure panel. Now if we need to know how to make that, we'll need this recipe. And we will need probably this recipe as well. We need a laser core. And apart from setting up auto crafting for glass, we should have all this. And we need an, we needed another lens, which gets used in making stuff sometimes. I think. Ah, oh, I probably already know it because it's. Um, yeah, we'll just. I must already have it because I crafted the controller. So ooh, we're gonna have just enough. So we needed. 24 structure frames, and I don't know if I'm going to have the resources for this. We're missing some flint. Hey, that's not bad. That's, that's not the money gadget. Um, yeah, sure. And then if we or excavate this guy. Hey, that all turned into flint. Cool. Right, so now if we ask for 24 structure frames, easy. We've got all the stuff. Right, next we needed 20 structure panels. And that'll be fine, we just have to wait for that other crafting to finish. And this guy's away. Now this would go faster if we had multiple molecular assemblers. Because like, uh... You'd have one molecular assembler crafting this, one crafting this one. But I mean, to be honest, that's fine. Like it's it's still way faster than doing it by hand. We needed two laser cores. And it's done already, and a lens. Which I mean I probably could have crafted this by hand, to be fair. And yeah, I made these stairs uh, using frame stairs. So that is made from sticks and you can make them into any block you want. So yeah, that's how I got the asphalt stairs if you're trying to make them and you can't figure out how to do it. But, yeah, I was kind of planning on using like this area down here for some void miners, just cause it's kind of unused space. We've got like some mining stuff happening over here. Yeah, I think this will be fine. This will be fine. And I'm running out of, uh, running out of chunks to climb. <laughs> See, I've, only got four left. Now we could unload that area in that other dimension, but ah, should be right. Should be right. So we place this guy here, and then we can use our assembler. I'll just stand on top, and you hold right click, and it'll place all the blocks for you. Eventually, this is going to say assemble true. Now uh, you know you may need to manually put in. So we've got an extra structure panel. So for some reason he didn't want to place. That's fine. 
Symboled true. Yeah, that's an okay area. Yeah, that'll be fine. I need to get underneath this dude. And dig straight down. Uh, ooh, just one wide is enough. Hopefully avoid the lava. Well, we did. Now, oh yeah, looks like the laser can mine through lava. Cool. We grabbed some power. Uh, we might be out of... No, no, we get some stuff here. Yeah, do we have conveyor? Not really. Uh, I thought about running conveyor belts just so we can see the stuff coming out. I might do that yet. But hey, we need power to this guy. Okay, I'm not going to just run some of this. Um, I might chuck that guy up a block. <laughs> so it's not as dangerous, yeah. This high voltage is pretty dangerous still. And hey, he's getting power. Now we can just simply grab a chest for a start. And just an iron chest will be fine. And for now, we'll put this here. And he should start filling up with crystals and we're getting the uh, thorncraft crystals which is kind of handy all right hey we're getting some stuff now we're going to get all sorts of things from this guy and you can see that by looking at this uh, uses so avoid all minor we're going to get like coal iron it's 13 pages of different stuff we're going to get All the Thorncraft crystals. These guys are what we're really after. Um, crystal laser lenses will mean we'll get more crystals. But you need blocks of the stuff before you can make them. So that's, that's not going to be a thing for quite a while. Yeah, and we got some diamond ore. Now, I wouldn't mind making another one. Just to speed the process of getting these crystals up a bit. Because then, you know, it'll be twice as fast. Obviously, it's still going to be a while before we get the crystals to upgrade this. But, yeah, I want to work on ore processing with our IC2 stuff now that we've got sort of good power. Uh, but, yeah, I wanted to get some void ore mining going so we've, we've got some stuff to process without having to go mining all the time. So I'll just give this area a bit of a tidy up. Uh, put down some asphalt. And yeah, then we might see what we can do in the ore processing department. So, back in a moment. Alright, and I just whipped up another void ore miner. And uh, yeah, change, change the power cabling a little bit. So these have been running for a little bit because I've been trying to figure out how to sort this ore processing. Uh, just testing out some stuff because I had to go mining to get a little bit more diamonds and we ran out of lava really quickly. So we got a bunch more bees going. Uh, most of these are still breeding. Uh, <laughs> and yep, they still hurt. I had to make a couple of item filters, uh, making sure I'm only extracting. And actually, that is why I was having problems with this guy. Making sure I'm only extracting phosphor and also this stuff. Uh, because I ended up with honey in the squeezer which filled all the pipes and stopped the lava generators from working so we're back to back to stuff working ah, I just need to tidy this up and just you know, had to rerun the pipes and uh, I've just got access under here but yeah these bees still hurt still hurt so we're going to try and sort a little bit better ore processing. Now, these tiny piles, these are gonna be a problem. And I'm not quite sure how to deal with these yet. Um, I looked into the supplier logistics pipe and I think it would work, but it would require me to run the logistics pipes all the way over here. And I thought, ah, well, we'll just get this set up basically. And it'll probably still be a manual process, uh, bringing ore over as it's mined. Oh, and yeah, I keep touching power. I think it's remembered there used to be a cable, like running a 
across here. So I get electrocuted when there's not actually anything there. Which is a bit of a bug. Oh, maybe it just got too close. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so we can just take ore over and uh, process it as we need it. For now. Eventually this will fill up, but yeah. We need to build up these iridium crystals to upgrade these guys to the next tier. But as for just getting some ore processing going. So, uh, I don't want to hook it into this yet, because I send all sorts of stuff into this ender chest. Uh, we'll work on some filtering in the future, but for now, let's do it this way. So, uh, I think we'll do it over here. So we're going to have uh, ore coming into the system. This is probably going to be stuff we just put in there. So let's start with an iron chest. We put ore in. It's going to want to come down into the first step in the chain, which is going to be the macerator. Macerator. Now this only produces the crushed ore. We're going to have an item conduit. Extract, always active, and you're inserting into this dude. We can probably have an ejector upgrade on this guy, then we don't need to run a pipe. And it's going to be going into our ore washing plant. Now he of course needs the several full iron, uh, which probably is not the best bit. Um, can I hide you down there? And hopefully he'll end up with water. And they got power just because I got the cable running there. So after the ore washing plant, that's when we're going to start getting different items that we don't necessarily want to go into the next stage. So we probably want a it's working. A buffer chest. So if we're gonna do that, buffer chest goes here. So it's gonna end up with stuff we, we don't necessarily want. And actually you're gonna have to go like this. You're gonna extract always active and insert into this guy. And you're going to end up with uh, all sorts of stuff. We end up with the stone dust and these tiny piles. These tiny piles are going to be the biggest problem. So since it's going to be such a big thing, we'll have you like that. So yeah, ore comes in, goes into here. And in fact, let's just get some copper ore. So. I have to do fix that in a minute. So copper ore comes in. It's going to get macerated. Power generation is going okay. We are going to get low on lava eventually. Um, must have a little bit of a back stuff at the moment, which is cool. So yes, and then you're going to go straight into the sky. And we might work on some upgrades to make these go a bit faster. Which means we're probably going to want to increase the voltage as well but uh, for now we'll leave it like this we'll just get it just ticking away in the background and to be fair i probably <laughs> probably want to get mechanism or processing going just because dealing with these tiny dusts is a bit of a pain so you're ending up with tiny piles of dust and stone dust so this stuff wants to go into an electric smelter so the electric smelter, if you were here, not there, electric smelter, cool, and we're only going to want certain things to go in here, like stone dust is not one of the things we really want, but we could get just a basic drawer. And chuck you there. We've got some stone dust lying around. That goes in there. Now we probably want an upgrade. We want to... Let's get a storage upgrade. Just because we've got plenty. And a void upgrade. Because eventually this will probably get full of junk. So upgrade you to hold heaps. And upgrade you to get rid of excess. So, oh. uh, if we come down, you can just insert all the time, because you're only ever going to get the stone dust. We can guarantee that. 
Uh, locking them. Cool. So we can set you to insert. And he shouldn't get the tiny piles. Always active. You're going to be getting this. If we just take this out. Yeah, he's not going to get uh, the tiny piles. So we need to sort these tiny piles somehow. And the problem is, it takes nine. And yeah, we're going to end up with an odd number. Which means this machine is going to constantly get jammed. Which is a real pain. Um, and again, the logistics pipe could be the way to go. Also, there is... The limited item filter from Ender.io. Uh, but that requires us to get into Slice and Spice, which is, you know, it's kind of fairly involved. Uh, there'd be a few Ender.io machines we'd have to make before we could do this. And the final step would be some kind of chest. Uh, and actually, we can automate this a little bit. So we should be able to put an ejector upgrade. And he'll go into here. Now, I'm going to do the smart import bus. I think it's the export bus. Uh, which we don't know how to make yet. Um... So an export bus, hey, which was a quest with no reward. I think we can hook into this dude. And I believe you should just put stuff in the system. I think that's how this guy works. So we should have enough channels here. To late, yeah, we got plenty. So export bus. Vice missing channel device online. Not doing what I thought it would. Export bus. Ah, wrong way around. I want an import bus. Because it's importing into the system. And that is slowly importing copper. Now we can make a speed upgrade. Which uh, we might have this stuff for. Not convinced. We do. Yeah, we do. And let's just chuck a couple of acceleration cards in this guy. Yeah, they don't stack. And hey, this should be, you know, kind of automated. Obviously, we've still got the uh, annoying dusts to sort out, but that's pretty good. Cool. Well, that's uh, pretty much automated ore processing, but we've still got these tiny piles. Um, I guess what we could do is in preparation. Uh, so you don't do that. I'll have a compressor. So you need power. Uh, no, if we do it this way. At least hide it a little bit. And then you are going to... Oh. So you don't do that. You don't do that. You are going to extract. Oh, is active. And insert. And then we can just grab nine. 
we can do it manually like this which is a little bit of a pain but hey that's cool so yeah we'll have you as insert but in fact we might get the filter from ender.io might be something we work on hey some acceleration cards but yeah that's that's kind of done and facades for ender.io hey those are pretty easy to make Oh, we must have to right-click the block on there. Oh, you have to have a painting machine. Can we just plunk these on? Oh, we've got to paint them first. And a painting machine. Yeah, we don't. We don't have that stuff. Well, yeah, this is what we would use to cover stuff up. But for now, it's fine. Cool. And then we can just grab a bunch of ore. Um... I mean, some of the stuff can just get processed. Uh, let's grab the stuff. Yeah, a little bit of a pain that this is like this. And yeah, so this should only insert stuff. So we can have this extract always active. And he'll pull in extra ones. Yeah. So we'll put our dusts in here for now. But it is just going to mean that we need to uh, babysit it a little bit. Um, there's all this crushed ore that we probably wanted to just chuck straight into the ore washing plant. Uh, we'll do that. We may as well see what the system's going to be like. Um, we'll do it just like this for now. Always active. Insert. And you're going to slowly process all of that. And I'm picking we're going to start running into power issues. Because I don't think our lava production keeps up just yet. Well guys, we got some, uh, some void ore miners running. And yeah, we got some more processing half set up. So... Making some progress, making some progress. But it's been classic stuff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.